Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a straight pour, ring pour kind of thing today with the uh, split cup, three section split cup. I'm just using two colors, quinacridone magenta, cobalt teal hue, plus white. So I have done some mixing. Uh, let's see. There's the quinacridone. Here's the cobalt teal, and then I added white to come up with a lighter shade and white to come up with a lighter shade of the magenta. I mixed the two and came up with this beautiful violet. And then I've got white by itself, but I think I don't want anything that stark, so I'm going to add some of this. Maybe, that, maybe I'll add some of this to come up with a bit of a lavender. Color, just a little bit of that. Let's see what we get. S still very light. What's that lump? That might be a lump of Floetrol. I didn't strain my Floetrol, and I generally am very good about that. Yep. Oh, I don't want that. Get rid of that. I think I want to make it a little darker. Okay, so two stickfuls added to white. And I have a very pale lavender color. So I think that could be pretty. So let's get to it. I've just mixed them with Floetrol, two to one, no water. Just going to randomly layer them. Because my uh, root colors were really only two, they shouldn't be a problem being next to one another. I shouldn't have to worry about what goes where. Okay. And here we go. Ah, I always manage to do that at the end with these cups. Mess up the center. There's another drip. Oh, well. 
usually take the skewer and kind of swirl that before I tilt it. I don't know if that helps or not. Okay. Kind of pretty. And we shall move it around. <laughs> There's always a, a critter or two that show up. Look, I have a little mouse here. He just needs ears and a tail. I wish there was more of the violet in there. That's a lot of blue. I normally love blue, but um, I would have, would have liked more violet overall. But there's some interesting areas. I'll bring this. Going over here where it's just kind of boring a line it was just lines all the same so I'll bring it way over and then oh there's slinky and then come back what happened to my oh there's the mouse I might paint that and call this mouse trap. Wouldn't that be fun? Just add a little. Now it's looking more like a rat, rat shaped. Oh, slinky. Hold your pants on. I'll run off some of this magenta area. Find the way to the paint and send it to about here and then tilt, not all of it, but just some of that off. And then I'll come back. I think it's kind of pretty, considering there's pink in it. <laughs> I like it. Let me bring you in for a closer look. Know what to say about it. It's pretty simple, just two colors. Let's look at the center where I used the skewer and before I tilted, and that worked out okay. I'm glad I tinted that um, 
the white and it would have been too stark to have straight white in there but I think it's rather pleasing to the eye. I hope you like it too. Thanks for joining me my friends. Well my friends I did a thing. I'm going to take you in for a closer look and show you. I took this Spray silicone, CRC, CRC is the brand, and I spritzed it pretty much over the whole thing. And it does have an effect. And here it is. If you look close, that's what it does. And I just think it added a little more interest to it. Kind of a textured look. I like it. It has more effect on the white, it seems, the one, the colors that are mixed with white because they're not much in the solid blue. So mostly the colors with, with white mixed in it. I don't know, just a little PS. I think it's a tad more interesting now. So for what it's worth, there you go.